Hey what's up guys I met here and today we have the Zordai OD3 smartwatch this is one of the latest additions in the Zordai smartwatches it comes in a rugged style and the body material is quite solid this smartwatch comes in a huge size and is for the sport lovers and not just that as advertised it has passed many US military standard tests in this video we're going to be checking out all of its features but before we start if you're new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's get right into it and first of all let's find out what comes inside its box so first of all here is the box let's go ahead and find out what comes inside it we have the user manual here to get you started with the smartwatch then we get two straps inside it we have sports strap in black as well as orange color then we get the zordai od3 smartwatch and in the end it comes with a wireless charger to charge the smartwatch so here is the first complete look on the smartwatch it comes in a metallic frame and as far as i've checked the dimensions are 57 millimeter from the top to the bottom and 45 millimeters from the left side to the crown key and the thickness is 12 millimeters we have a metallic bezel on top two keys and a microphone on the right side and a speaker on the left side on the back side we have the wireless charging and health sensors and here it is using 22 millimeter straps you can easily remove the straps by pressing this pin and you can use any 22 millimeter straps with it and here is how the smartwatch looks on the wrist with the straps included in the box what do you think about it i really like the rugged design let me know about your opinion in the comment section below. It is using 8763 chip inside it and overall the chip performance is quite good. I haven't faced any restarting or phasing issues so far. Although it is not too fast and the transitions and animations are a little laggy. Bluetooth version is 5.0 and it is said to be IP68 level waterproof. They've also mentioned that the design and material selection is based on US military standard 8108 and it has proven applicable to any outdoor activities and harsh conditions. Okay about the waterproof level they have not directly mentioned anywhere if it can be used directly in water or not so i would recommend you to not use it directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days let's take a look at all of the languages supported by it So these were all of the languages supported by the smartwatch. It is using a 2.1 inches IPS display and the display is visible from all of the sides which proves that it's an IPS display and not a TFT display. The screen resolution is 420 into 485 because of which the text clarity and picture clarity is good. Here's a look at the screen size. Excluding the bezels it is using a full screen display. On the home screen we get the control center. It has a lot of options. Then we have split screen, quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the menu. Using the crown key you can change the watch faces click it once to turn on the screen of tile and click it twice to access the menu looking about the lower key you can access the sport modes directly from it and if you press and hold it you can access an application and if you press and hold the crown key you can turn off the smartwatch call the emergency contact and restart it if you take a quick look at all of the watch faces all of them are perfectly designed to suit the style of the smartwatch you can also press and hold and tap on this lock icon and even if you use the crown key accidentally it won't change the watch face which is a great option in my opinion talking more about the ui it comes with many menu styles you can double click the crown key to change the menu style there are different menu styles in it including the list view then we have different grid styles you can choose whichever one you want i prefer the list view it is because it is easy to use as all of the applications have their name next to the icon now let's talk about the screen time if you go to screen on and off here we have the screen time option which has the maximum time of key bright and here we also have the screen off option so if you're using the key bright option the display will stay on forever and even if you turn on the screen of tile it will keep the screen of tile turned on forever until the battery dies it comes with only one screen of tile which is this pointer screen of tile in the control center we also have the tap to wake option using which you can simply tap on the display to wake it up not just that it also comes with the rest to wake option to turn on the display you can enable or disable both of these options from the control center other than that in settings we also have the vibration intensity option and the level 3 looks quite satisfactory and you can also add a passcode in the smartwatch to add an extra layer of security here we have the ringtone settings where you can set a separate ringtones for phone messages as well as for alarms we are surely gonna be checking out all of these options later in the video enough with the hardware and the ui now let's talk about the watch application it uses the zordai application in which we have the health tab which stores all of your fitness data then we have the exercise tab and to take full advantage of the outdoor run option you can also start the gps motion trajectory then it will also save the data as well as the path of your outdoor run here we have the me section where you can set up your goals and you can also set the units here it is showing the temperature units 
You can also push weather updates to the smartphone, but it only shows the high and lows of the current day. It does not show the weather right now. You can also connect the Zordai application with Apple Health. Then we have the device tab, where first of all we have the watch faces. So in the dial market, all of the watch faces are available for totally free. To use your own picture from the gallery as a watch face, you can go to customize and here select picture dial. Tap here to select the picture. After selecting the picture, you can go to style. Here we only have one digital clock option and in the end we have the location option so you can move the digital clock to bottom, middle and top. You cannot use pointer dial on the custom watch face. Then we have the incoming call notifications. And not just notifications, you can also go to bluetooth call and here turn on bluetooth calling for the phone. Then you can access the phone application and you can call directly from the smartwatch. And you can also receive calls directly on it. It rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call but unfortunately it is not showing the name of the caller for me and do remember I haven't synced the contacts. You can swipe to accept the call and after accepting the call we have the option of sound adjustment and the hang up option. By going to settings and ringtone settings you can also use another ringtone for the calls. Using bluetooth calling for the phone you can also access voice assistant directly on it. How's the weather today? Looks like it will be partly cloudy today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 42 degrees, with overnight lows around 27. And the volume level is really loud and quite clear. After that in bluetooth calling we have the music option. So if this option is enabled and you use the music player to control the media playing on the device then it will shift the sound from the smartphone to the smartphone. And if you go to bluetooth call and turn off the music option then if you use the music application then it's unable to control the media playing on the device. Which means if you turn on bluetooth calling for music and use it to control the media playing on the device it will shift the sound from the smartphone to the smartphone and there is no way to control the media playing on the device without shifting the sound which is a big negative point in my opinion. Now let's get back to the watch application. After incoming call we have SMS and app notification option. In the app notification we have the other option which means even if an application isn't listed here it can still send you the notifications for it. It does not have to specifically include all of the installed applications on your smartphone but includes most of the main ones. It wakes up the display when you receive a new notification and shows a banner prompt. By going to settings and ringtone settings, you can also select the tune for the message. Let's select ringtone 1. After selecting the tune, it will also play this tune whenever you receive a new message. Here's how the notification center looks like. Talking about longer notifications, it does support a little scrolling but it does not support emojis. It also has red dot alert for undead notifications. After that we have reminders. After that you can use the find watch option using which the smartwatch will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it. We also get the find phone application in the smartwatch and using this application the smartwatch will start to ring so you can easily find it. But if bluetooth calling is connected, it will start to play the sound on the smartphone. So to get rid of it, go to bluetooth call and turn off bluetooth calling. Then it will start to play the sound on the smartphone. You can cancel the ring by going back to the application. Then we have my QR code option using which you can add QR codes of different applications. Then you can access the my QR code application and anyone can scan that QR code to directly access your social profile or your payment page. You can also sync your favorite contacts and add up to 2000 commonly used contacts in the smartwatch. Using the camera option, you can use the smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button and click pictures directly using it. Here we have the NFC option and if you use the Apple shortcuts application to confirm it, then yes the smartwatch can be used as an NFC tag. In the end we have tilt to wake, then automatic heart rate monitoring and do not disturb mode option. Once the watch application is connected, you can also use the Qibla direction option in it and not just that, we also have the religious time option by which you can turn on alarms for all 5 prayers. So that was all from the mobile application and the bluetooth calling part. Now let's talk about all of the applications. So in the applications menu we have the fitness data which stores all of your fitness data here. Although the rings do not work perfectly fine, so I'm gonna take a few steps in the room to see if pedometer works fine or not. So I am back now. Now let's take a look at it. So previously it was showing 141 steps and I took around 50 steps while it counted 59. So it was not 100% accurate. Do you remember I was holding the smartwatch still in my hands during this whole time? And also this was just casual walking in the room and the results will vary when walking or running outside. Then we get a lot of sport modes inside it. There are many categories given here and when you select a category it will show you all of the sports which fall under that category. You can also tap on the settings icon to customize the time, distance and calories target 
or you can start without any target. And here's how the UI looks in a sport mode. After that we get blood sugar, heart rate, ECG, blood pressure and blood oxygen level checker. Now let's see if it has proximity sensor and wear detection. So first let's check the proximity sensor. So the sensors have turned off and the smartwatch has given the error please press firmly. Now let's try with the hard surface at the back and it has again given the error. Now let's try on a soft cloth. It has again refused to measure the data. It means the smartwatch comes with proximity sensor as well as wear detection and only measures the data when you place your fingers at the back. And do remember that you also need to press it firmly while holding it against your skin. And as you can see here, in a few seconds it has started to show values. After that we also have the calendar application in it now. You can also tap here to move the calendar to the next or the previous months. After that we have the sleep tracker and since it has working proximity sensor and wear detection so the sleep tracker should work fine. In the stopwatch application you can tap here to start the stopwatch although there is no option to add laps in it. If you use any of the keys it will stop the stopwatch and you also cannot quit while the stopwatch is running. You will have to stop it first and then go back. Here is the time zone application. It works absolutely fine but for it to show the correct values you need to connect your smartwatch with the smartphone. Currently it is 9.41 pm here in Pakistan. China is 3 hours ahead of Pakistan that is why it is showing 12:41 a.m. for China. We have the time application using which you can change the time format and you can also set the time and date directly in the smartwatch. Here is the compass application. While using for the first time, you will have to calibrate it first and after that it will start the compass. You can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch. So let's set an alarm. After setting the time, you can tap on single and select the days if you want to repeat the alarm. After that, you can go to settings and here scroll down to ringtone settings and here we have the alarm clock option where you can select a ringtone for the alarm. Now let's wait for it. And here is how the alarm is shown. It rings as well as vibrates but we do not have the snooze option. You can use the crown key to turn off the alarm. Even if you do not turn it off manually, it only lasts 10 seconds. Then we have app store using which you can install many applications which are not available in the smartwatch. We have female assistant, countdown, massager, whack-a-mole, calculator, then puzzle air pressure and breath training. Because these applications are mostly not used by everyone, so they do not come pre-installed in the smartwatch, but you can choose to install them by visiting the app store in the Zordai application. And later you can access all of these applications in the app store. And these were all of the applications in the Zordai OD3 smartwatch. In the end, it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 380 mAh and it can be charged using the wireless charger provided in the box and according to the advertised values, it can give you 10 hours on continuous usage of sport modes, 7 days on daily usage and 60 days on standby. And this is all from the Zordai OD3 smartwatch. So guys, this was all from today's video and from the Zordai OD3 smartwatch. What do you think about it? In my opinion, overall it's quite a solid smartwatch but I would have really appreciated if it also had the AMOLED display. Other than that, this smartwatch has almost everything you need being a sports lover. It has proximity sensor, wear detection, then many sport modes inside it. We also get the always on display option for the screen of light which is missing in some of the AMOLED smartwatches I know. So in my opinion, if it had the AMOLED display, it would have been a 10 out of 10 in this price range. If you would like to place an order, I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below. And I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. For more videos like this, you can visit the channel and also hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the future videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.